Welcome back to the Moo Moo Talk with Tina. I hope you guys have been practicing your positive mindset, especially about you. I pointed to me, but especially about you. When you're thinking about yourself or talking about your life, I hope you're staying in that positive mindset. So what I talked about last week was how is it that you can actually talk or think yourself into a healthy weight or a healthy body image? And that's basically talk to yourself. And we discussed what if you just tweaked it a little bit. So in that video, I mentioned a little bit about hypnosis. Yep. I actually quit college when I was about 18 years old and I went for one year and then I quit to take hypnotherapy and was a hypnotherapist for about a year. Now, a lot of people say, well, why did you quit if you loved it so much? But honestly, I was too young. <laughs> At what the demands were, I didn't have any problems with getting clients. It was that the conversations were a little more adult, let's say, at 18 or 19 years old than I could handle. So what I've done lately is gone back and revisited a great deal of that information and material that I learned. And now I've given it to you. So when we start talking about mindset, this goes with everything in your life. I just returned from Los Angeles and the entire time I was there, I was thinking a little bit in the back of my brain about mindset and areas that you live in. So let me see if I can explain it a little bit better. Mindset is what you think about, yes. And what you think about, you bring about. Why would I relate that to Los Angeles? Well, it's interesting when you're out there, you're talking four million people in a small little spot. But the interesting part is they're all there for a particular reason. Now, I'm not saying everybody that lives in California is there because if it's like some people I know in Hawaii, wherever you were raised, you're always looking for a better adventure. But for the majority, you really need to desire to live in Los Angeles and for a reason whether it's to be an actress or a model, or you want to advance your business, but the area out there is for a particular reason. I mean, we have agents and yes, there's all kinds of jobs out there, but I just was paying attention to the mindset and the majority of the mindset of the people that we were around were positive positive body image, what you get is what you put in, you know, when, when you put in so much or what you think about, you bring about. And my daughter Ashby made the funniest comment. So normally when your family's together and it's Easter and it's holidays, what do you do? You eat. You always are looking for a place to gather and talk and food is usually involved in that. Now, I'm not saying that's a bad thing, but Ashby made the comment, you know, I didn't get to be the body that I want or receive the body that I want by eating all the time. And I thought that was interesting. And I thought, good point, really? So find gatherings in other areas. Make, make experiences become your family gatherings. And that's what we did this past week is we planned time to be together, even though we spent some time eating as well, but we planned adventures and that's what you need to do. Okay, move back a little bit. Let's go back to that mindset. So listen to people talk, whether they're in Los Angeles or Kentucky or Kansas. I recognize that sometimes we are actively engaged in conversations that we really don't want to be actively engaged in, but how do you get out of them? And I haven't figured this out, everybody, on a perfect technique without hurting somebody's feelings, but let me try a little bit and share with you. We have groups and circles of friends, and we all have our own individual mindset. So you could have like a little 
sign above my head that says Tina has a happy mindset and she's constantly looking for ways to make it better. Well, then you go into a group and they start talking about, well, my aunt so-and-so, you know, she's sick and dying. And then I have over here this one, you know, well, maybe you could talk about me in the past. You know, she broke her leg. Oh, how terrible is that? How do you get away from that? I'm not really sure. But what I try to do is in my mind, because it's annoying, I know, when you have somebody around that's like, did you really want to bring that into your life? Is that really the conversation you wanted to have? If you're ever around me too much, you'll know that I do say that. But if you're in a set, a setting, a family setting, say they know everything about you, they don't necessarily want your advice. So it's very difficult sometimes to retrain that mindset when everybody's talking about illness or tragedy or politics or whatever okay but something that might not resonate with you how do you click that and what I did this weekend was practiced in my mind how it could be better now I really didn't tell anybody sometimes I might have seemed a little bit quiet which I know is hard for you to believe but I did I seemed a little bit maybe just standoffish sometimes and think I'm really not sure I want to engage in that conversation. Now, the easiest way I know to do this is to really consciously think about what's going on in your brain. And when you hear something that doesn't really work with you, maybe you don't want to hear about somebody's rear end hurting or you don't want to hear about uh, constant illness or, or negative thoughts, what do you do? simply train your brain and start practicing this. Several people have asked me, how do you do that, especially as fast as you go all the time? And sometimes I'm not sure, but most of the time I simply look for a better opportunity in my brain and I leave it there and then I walk on. Okay, so here what we're going to talk about for the next few weeks, whenever we get a chance, is we're going to talk about healthy mindset, whether it's your body image you're working on, whether it's, you know, maybe reducing a little bit of what you put in your body or actually making it a little cleaner. But we're going to start talking about, well, we already started talking about it. Sorry, guys. But we're going to continue to talk about a healthy mindset and start looking at what you're attracting because it could be that what you're complaining about you're bringing about because you keep complaining. So today your job is to just tweak. If you get into a situation where everybody has something bad to tell you, start thinking just in your brain, leave it there. Let's not take it out into out of your beak yet, but simply think, well, did that serve them? Maybe that conversation helped them improve their healthy mindset or however it needs to work for you. But simply put that in your brain and dismiss it and then move forward. Okay. Yeah. I'm so glad you're here today. I have to go to my day job right now, but guess what? I know you're awesome. You are and if you're struggling with anything right now, put something really happy in your brain. Turn up some music. Do some boogie woogieing. It only takes five seconds to reset that thought. God bless. And until next time, I hope and wish for you all the love in the world that you can handle. God bless.